Striker-fired pistols have revolutionized the handgun market with their sleek designs, reliable performance, and user-friendly features. In this video, we'll be showcasing the top contenders that have earned their spots on our list. So join us as we explore their features, discuss their performance, and help you make an informed decision when it comes to choosing your next striker-fired pistol. First up is the Sig Sauer P365 X Macro Tac Ops. The X Macro Tac Ops is Sig's latest evolution of their ultra popular micro compact P365, and we have to say, it delivers. Fitted with the P365 XL length slide and a 3.7 inch barrel, the X Macro Tac Ops brings the first non compensated variant into the family in a versatile package. Even though it is only 1.4 inches wide and 5.2 inches tall, the X Macro has a mind boggling capacity of 17 rounds of 9mm. No other manufacturer has managed to stuff this many rounds in a gun this size. It's about the same size as, but more slender than, the Glock G19 and Sig Sauer P320X Compact, but boasts two additional rounds. Features include an optics ready slide that lets you keep the rear sight when a red dot is installed. X-ray night sights, a full 1913 accessory rail, extended beaver tail, and an all-new enhanced slide catch lever, four steel magazines, and a metal flare detachable magwell to make the most of these extra magazines. Additionally, SIG was able to retain the full frame, slide, and fire control unit capability with previous versions of the P365. Overall, the solid ergonomics, a good trigger, and the soft recoil impulse make the X-Macro far easier to shoot than you might expect making it an excellent choice for those wanting to maximize capacity without getting a full-size pistol. Walther PDP Sometimes guns punch above their weight class, and we definitely feel that way about the Walther PDP. The gun comes optics ready out of the box and offers deep slide serrations at the front and back to make racking the slide very positive. Walther was already known for providing great ergonomics with guns like the PPQ, and that is certainly true for the PDP. Still, perhaps the best part is that this handgun has one of the best triggers we've tested on a gun straight from the factory. Walther's Performance Duty Trigger has a little bit of take-up to a defined wall, then a very clean break right at around 4 to 4.5 pounds, and a very short reset. The PDP is also available in various barrel lengths and also with full-size 18 plus 1 capacity and 5 plus 1 capacity grip sizes. Additionally, Walther has recently introduced the PDPF, which features a reduced grip to trigger reach and an easier to rack slide. Accuracy and reliability are hallmarks of Walther duty guns. The PDP has that in spades. Smith & Wesson M&P9 M2.0 Metal The M&P line of striker fired handguns has been performing quite well in an extremely hot and competitive handgun market since its original release in 2005. And with the added mass of the aluminum frame, the M2.0 metal series takes a good thing and makes it even better. This specific version is completely identical to regular M2.0 pistols, but instead of being built around a polymer frame, they are built with a 7075 T6 aluminum frame. All magazines, parts, accessories, and dimensions are fully interchangeable between this metal pistol and the polymer M2.0 originals. The Smith & Wesson M&P M2.0 is a duty-size, optics-ready, striker-fired handgun. The slide stop is ambidextrous and its magazine release is reversible. And similar to other modern duty-oriented handguns, the M2.0 metal has a Picatinny rail dust cover that accepts accessories like lights or lasers. The alloy provides enough rigidity to support accessories without affecting reliability or contorting the frame. There is not a terrible difference in weight between the polymer frames and these new aluminum frames, with the M2.0 metal guns weighing approximately 30 ounces. This pistol is equipped with the latest M&P M2.0 style trigger, which facilitates putting 9mm holes exactly where you want them to go. The M2.0 metal also comes standard with regular heights, white three-dot front and rear sights, and like many other guns in the M&P lineup, this one has an optics-ready core system. The cost is a little above the median, but the M&P 9 M2.0 metal is a handgun that is reliable, accurate, and beautiful. Glock 19 Gen 5 The Glock 19 Gen 5 has been the dominant jack-of-all-trades, mid-size, single-action, striker-fired pistol for as long as I can remember. These pistols have been filling more roles than any other platform that I know of, which is why these pistols have been best sellers for decades. They are generally my top recommendation for a first gun. 
Not only is it reliable, but the Glock 19 also has a massive amount of aftermarket parts, which you can use to upgrade your Glock to feel and perform exactly the way you want it to. Though the Glock 19 Gen 5 grip angle remains the same as it ever was, it is notable that Glock removed the finger grooves and introduced a slightly flared magwell, allowing for easier loading under stress. A huge change is that the Gen 5 guns are available in three different sighting configurations – the original plastic sights, standard steel night sights, and the new Ameriglow bold day and night sights. The new proprietary NDLC finish on the slide is supposed to reduce corrosion and improve performance in adverse conditions. The Gen 5 guns feature the Glock Marksman barrel with new, more aggressive rifling and a recessed crown that are supposed to deliver improved accuracy. The trigger isn't the best and is pretty spongy by today's standards, and the ergonomics are a bit blocky for my taste. However, these guns still point well, shoot well, and their simplicity and ease of use can't be understated. Those who put a premium on reliability, flexibility, and simplicity will be hard-pressed to find a gun that does those better. The HKVP9L OR The HKVP9L OR is the successor to the P30L that became a global sensation in the hands of John Wick. Designed to dominate combat pistol matches, the VP9L OR applies the expected HK over-the-top attention to detail to the optimized competition pistol. The striker-fired VP9L OR is mechanically similar to the 5-inch VP9 that shooters have come to love. It uses the same recoil-operated design as the standard VP9, and both guns use a captive flat-wire recoil spring. The slide on both guns is machined from high-carbon steel and nitro-carbonized for maximum durability. However, the cold hammer forged barrel is extended by an inch, as is the slide to accommodate. Lightning cuts in the slide minimize both weight and lock time. Elevated non-nuclear luminous sights co-witness nicely with a red dot, and the rear slide deck is cut to accommodate. Naturally, the dust cover includes a Picatinny accessory rail. The barrels are cut from cannon-grade steel and are legendary. Polygonal rifling offers slightly higher muzzle velocities and longer life when compared to cheaper, more conventional barrels. The O-ring bushing on the barrel tightens the lockup as well as your groups, and paired with 20-round extension magazines, it can guarantee a full time at the range. Moreover, the machined optics cut accommodates most popular red dot pistol sights, with one of five available mounting plates. The bladed trigger sets the standard for striker-fired guns. The trigger face is broad enough to allow for plenty of contact with the finger for maximum control. Take-up is smooth and even, and the brake is remarkably consistent and predictable. With its great trigger and short reset, the pistol is built for speed, a gun that can be shot as quickly as the skill level of the shooter allows. But the VP9L OR is also built for longevity. Top quality parts mean you won't be nursing the gun back to health when you shoot it a bunch. The Taurus GX4XL Toro This Brazilian-made striker-fired semi-auto is a screaming value for shooters looking for a compact 9mm. While the $430 price tag might be what catches the eye of most people first, this little gun revealed it's more than just a cheap date. Among the pistol's positive qualities are an excellent grip shape and texture. I especially appreciated the textured pad on the side of the frame for the support hand thumb. These enhanced the Taurus's ergonomics and contributed to its ability to get back on target quickly. The trigger breaks at 5 pounds 13 ounces, and it has a solid back wall and a short, well-defined reset which helps make up for that. This little 20-ounce gun handles recoil far better than I expected it would. I haven't quite figured out why that is, but surely the whole of the frame design, the recoil system, and the grip texture is more than the sum of its parts. Whatever the reason, the Taurus GX4 XL is a surprisingly fast gun. The pistol comes with two magazines, one holding 11 rounds and the other 13. Even the shorter 11-rounder offers purchase for all the shooter's fingers. The pistol also ships with different back straps to adjust the thickness of the grip. This is also the Taurus Optics Ready Option version of the GX4 line, which allows the shooter to easily install a range of optics on the handgun. The standard features are really attractive on a pistol at this price, and sealed the deal for the Taurus GX4 XL's well-deserved Great Buy Award. The CZ P10C Armed with a durable yet lightweight polymer frame, the CZ P10C is just the ticket for a multi-role pistol. It's not the most compact pistol on the market, but there's no reason it won't serve you well if concealed carry is your goal. I find the grip angle to be almost perfect. 
It points quite naturally, and the sight picture has a very low axis in the hands. For me, this is a recipe for easy, accurate shooting. Along with the grip-to-frame angle, the grip itself is a major factor. The outsides of the grip have a slight swell on each side accompanied by a coarse, square, stippled pattern and can be further customized with two additional back straps. The magwell is slightly flared to assist with quicker magazine changes, and the trigger guard is squared off and sized to accept gloved hands. At the muzzle end of the frame, there is an especially useful accessory rail that allows for multiple types of accessory lights or lasers. Functionally, the P10C is spectacular. As is the case for most CZs, shooting feels smooth and flat. The trigger is pretty great for a striker-fired pistol, too. The take-up is smooth, the brake is clean, and the reset is tactile. No need to swap triggers out here. Recoil is pretty flat, almost imperceptible, at least when you're actively shooting. Deep checkering in the grip frame ensures a firm grip at all times during shooting. And just in case you get a sticky situation, a three-dot sight system is at the ready to assist you in lining up your target. The mag release is reversible and substantial enough so that there is minimal grip adjustment to drop the mag. The P10C comes with two additional 15-round magazines. Not only that, but it's very well-priced. If you've always wanted a CZ pistol but didn't want to break the bank, the P10C is a solid contender. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our journey through the world of the best striker-fired pistols of 2023. Remember, selecting the right pistol is a personal choice, so be sure to consider your preferences, requirements, and training. We encourage you to continue exploring and educating yourself on the latest advancements in firearm technology. As always, stay safe, practice responsible gun ownership, and keep honing your shooting skills. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and until next time, happy shooting!